Hello everyone. So in this part of the video, I'll be walking you guys through on how to install, download and set up your React project inside your PC. So that's the first step of this particular whole project so that we can actually start learning about React and its basics and its advanced levels. So how do we get, how do we actually get started is by actually uh, need to, needs to, you need to have or you need to be already installed with Node.js. So Node.js is something that is one that to be able to easily, we can download anything that we would like to uh, use for our project. So let's go to our browser here and just type Node.js just like this. And then as you can see, the first search result is showing Node.js.org. So that's the one that we are looking for. And you can actually download any one of this. As you can see, this is the most recommended for most of the users and this is the latest features. And as you can see, everyone used to download this and we can just go with this. And if you don't, if you, if you would like to go for the latest one, it, you can go here as well. It doesn't matter, either way it's possible. And let's click on this, by the way. And as you can see, when, it, when, it, when I click here, the download automatically starts and I need to install it. Now it's currently downloading it. And once I install it, you'll be able to uh, install in your PC. Let's just see it because I have already installed already. So once you have already installed Node.js inside your PC, all you have to do, the next thing is to check whether whether your Node.js has been, has been installed properly. You need to go to terminal and just, just open a simple terminal like this. You can either go to command prompt. In this case, I'm just using PowerShell. Doesn't matter as long as you are able to use either one of this. And all you have to do, just need to go to your terminal and then just type node and dash v. What I'm doing here, I'm just checking the version of Node.js uh, so that I'll be able to know whether Node.js has been installed or not. So as you can see here, when I click uh, enter, so as you can see, there's version 16.15.0. That is the version that's uh, current version of Node.js that has been already been installed into my PC. So that's the first step, which is already done. And this is this will be your first milestone here. So next thing is that we need to create a folder you need to create a react folder so how are we do that just need to open a simple uh, folder like this So once we are able to open, I mean, create a new folder, all you have to do just need to make sure you just create a new folder and just name it uh like use using a proper naming uh rules for example in this case i would like to say react and just in this this is going to be a test here so as you can see here we need to make sure whenever we install or down gonna start a new uh react project we need to make sure the naming must follow the style i mean the format of where you don't have any capital letters as well as there's no space and and there's no other uh, unique symbols so that's the thing we just need to make sure it's like all of them all the uh, text is here is uh, under uh yeah lowercase and just it should be like this and the next thing is that in order to, in order to uh, open this particular folder we need to open it inside our vs code so in this case i'm going to open this particular folder open with code here or you can actually just uh, open it manually from opening vs code first and then you just need to go to file here and then need to go, go and open a folder so in that way it, either way will work by the way and and as you can see here i'm already inside my react 
test folder and yeah that's the thing that's that's the first that's the second step of this particular video so now let's we have already inside the fold, project folder the next thing is to, we need to install the react itself so how are we able to do that is that we need to go to terminal like this and open a new terminal this and then let's uh, open this yeah open this tab here and this is where we're going to give a command and that command will be the one that's going to install and install react as long i mean with along with its uh, dependencies okay in that way we can actually install all the react uh, necessary files so now to do that this is the command that we will be using called npx create react app so as you can see here this is the uh, this is the command to call and the next thing is that we need to uh, specify where exactly should we store this project a uh, project folder so in this case i would like to store within this particular react test folder here so in order to do that i need to put, just i just need to type dot slash dot slash is basically you are just installing the folder where exactly your your current folder is so in this case my current folder is react test so i would like to install directly into this folder okay once you are here you can just create i mean just click on enter and all you have to do is just need to wait for a couple of uh, minutes and that will be able to install all the dependencies that is required for your react projects and there you go guys this is where you will end up once you have already installed all the dependencies and all the file structure that that we would be needing throughout this entire project so as you can see here this is the new folders that already been installed directly just by just by the command that i've given you earlier so all you just need to do just you check here go to source files you can see there's a lot of files here okay so before we actually start uh changing these files here all you do just need to run what's just need to run here for example we can actually copy this npm start and just paste it right here and let's just see what happens when we give this command and there you go guys this is what you'll be you'll have you'll what you'll find when you actually run that particular npm start command so this is basically a simple uh, animation where it just shows uh, this particular text here and there's a button there's a hypertext here and then there's an animation that's going on here so this is just a simple template that every single react project will be having I mean, when they initially download and install npm uh, npx create react app so that's the first step here and as you can see as you have already ended i mean already come this far then you're already in the right track to actually learn development in react so let's get uh going let's just uh, close this file here. so as you can see here this is the project source file here, which we won't be needing all of them all you have to do we just need we won't be needing we just need to have uh, just a certain files like app.js and and index.js only we don't we won't be needing any anything else and because this is what we're going to learn so we will be able to delete all of, all of this by the way so as you can see we can delete app.css and app.test.js index sorry index.css we won't be needing it and logo yeah we won't be needing it as well and report web vitals no no nope. And once you already delete all of them, you'll only end up with app.js and index.js here. And let's go and just uh, remove the unwanted uh, callings, for example, app.css and logo.sv here. And basically, we won't be needing any of this, any of the app.js content, basically. So we can just copy, I mean, just select everything, just uh, switch off everything like this. I mean, just clear everything. So that's the one. And the next thing is that uh, we need to go to index.js as well. As you can see, we, we have already deleted index.css. We won't be needing it. And we already inst uh, removed web report web vitals here. We already removed it. And here as well, we already removed it as well. And just remove all, the, all these comments here. And as you can see, we have already like have some simple and empty project, empty React project here. And let's get started. Just this is the simple, this is the first step that we will be doing. And otherwise, we'll be watching in the next uh, videos here. So the, the only thing left is that we need to create a simple uh, 
a component here it can be a functional components so all you have to do is just need to go and click uh, i mean just need to type r a f c e here so r a f c e is actually a command that uh, that's automatically creates a template so in that way we are able to save our time on easily and just like having this template to be recalled every single time when you wanted to create a new file for example let's say if i click on r a f c e and then just click enter you'll be having this template here this is the this is what we call react functional component uh, template so if you don't if you are not able to find r a f c e you need to install a dependency from your uh, extensions here so it's actually an extension and as you can see here i have already installed a particular uh, extension that i've been installed which is es7 plus react redux react native so this is the one that i've installed here so you need to, you need to look for es7 extension okay es7 plus this is the extension that we will be using and just need to make sure you install it like like this here that's just need to click on like this and once you're installed you'll be able to find this particular template to be able, you are able to uh ex and the next thing let's see what happens when i just save this file here because i've just made a change here just just, just just need to make sure i able to run this file and as you can see webpack compiled successfully let's go back to our local host here and there you go you can see you can find only this particular text here app text because that's what we have already did we just did a simple uh, app here inside our app.js file and as you can see here index.js is the one that calls the app component here and that's the reason why you're able to only read app.js content here and there you go guys this is the first step of the video course here and let's continue in our next uh, subsequent videos and until then thanks for watching